this stencil is called a baseline stencil and it's a, a loose line of swirls. So I have stenciled that across the middle of my placemat and then just off the top and off the bottom. I'm gonna get up my handy quilter sweet spots. And I'm gonna start quilting the middle spiral. I'm going to trace the lines the best I can. It's not going to be 100% accurate because I'm doing it. It's going to be imperfect, but the lines will go away so no one will ever know if I miss the lines. I am using a 50 weight cotton stone 2D um, thread from Wonderfill in the top in my needle and in the bobbin I'm using an 80 weight deco bob polyester. It's called Dove Gray. So I'm going to trace this spiral around here and retrace it back to where the line joins. And I'm going to try to follow the line back, but I'm not too worried if it's not perfect because I like the ribbon look whenever it's a little off. And now I'm going to follow the curve around in the other direction and do the next spiral. Stitch the next spiral. completed my first quilted row, I'm going to mo move over and stitch the next one. I'm going to be stitching on the fabric and off the fabric into the batting and backing. This is why I always try to have three to four inches all the way around, even a placemat, because it gives me something to hold on to, and uh, sometimes I need to quilt into the outside to complete the pattern. I'm going to turn this around and quilt the other side. Um, there's enough room that I could have continued to quilt this on the left, uh, but, uh, I could have also quilted it across and across, It's just whatever works best for me.
now that the stencil quilting is done, you can see that this simple stencil um, with a pretty pretty big distance between them is a great way to quilt the quilt all over. So if I were doing the entire quilt along quilt, uh, this would be one of the ways I would consider quilting it all over. I like more thread on my quilt than that simple overall um, edge to edge design would allow. So I am going to stitch some switchbacks about a quarter inch apart uh, between these. I'm measuring the distance between each one of these switchbacks by using the edge of my foot. I love how the stitching fills it in and makes those um, those spirals stand out. Again, it's a threadier look, but I like it that way. I'm going to stitch the same switchbacks between the next two rows of spirals, and then my placemat will be done.
oh my gosh, that was so fun and so quick and so cute that now I want to make a big quilt, any big quilt, maybe the quilt-along quilt, and stitch this over the entire thing. I love the look.